Hey guys, welcome to tonight's Celebrity Big Brother 2 chat. Oh my god, it's episode 8. And it's eviction night, and I have to say, I feel for the editors of this show. <laughs> oh my god, there was so much... That they didn't show. There was, <laughs> yeah, there was so much happening this week, and they had, like, less episodes to show it because they went from an HOH and nomination episode to an eviction. Right. Like, they didn't have the POV episode in between, so they were really limited on time and what they could show. They had a gloss over 98% of the show. It was not just glossing. It was straight up like, bleh, you're out, bleh, you're out. I can't you, talk about this. If you don't watch the live feeds... You are really, really missing out. Yeah. This was one of the craziest weeks of feeds of any season. Mm -hmm. It's definitely up Would there. Would you say it was iconic? It was iconic, but honestly, it was also exhausting. At times, like, I was this close to a mental breakdown because there's just so much happening. And I'm not How do you kidding. think they felt? Well... <laughs> Maybe not as bad because they were only watching from their own point of view. But anyway, but how many of them are are there of them, <laughs> and how many of are you? Anyway. <laughs> Speak much? No, it's okay. Well, anyway, last, last time, time. <laughs> Tom won the H O H. Yep, and he nominated Candy and Joey. Yeah, because he kind of suspected maybe one of them has the power. He really wants to flush it out because. I thought that was good reasoning. I guess. He just didn't pick the right people. Yeah. I mean, he had the right idea trying mm -hmm. to get rid of the power because who wants to win HOH and then immediately have some of their power taken away? Do Nobody you, wants do that. Do you think Julie should be a rapper? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. She's really nailing that delivery tonight. Paranoia, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll <laughs> destroy, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she made a funny. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, um, Tom was like on the same. Well, what am I saying? It was kind of weird because he was like expecting someone to be like, oh, <laughs> I have the power. So he was expecting to be right, but he was wrong. Yeah. Why would anyone own up to having the secret power when they know that you're going to try and put them up because of it? No, he was expecting either Candy or Joey to stand up and say, not today, Satan. Well, yeah, but I mean, he was yeah. also expecting someone to come forward and be like, I have it. Sorry, no, guys. I, I thought um, <laughs> he just meant out of those two. No, like, it's both. It's okay. both. Um, well, it doesn't matter because his ultimate plan is to backdoor Ricky. Yeah, he's kind of using the power thing as a front, being like, Ricky might have it, but mm -hmm. he's been wanting Ricky out since last week yeah. so he's just kind of using that as an excuse to get him up on the block well ricky seems to think that tamar has the power and he's right although he doesn't even care no he cares not he's like it doesn't matter our alliance of five has the numbers we can do what we want it's all good Tom goes on a fact-finding mission to Ooh. find out who has that power you guys if you haven't been watching the feeds he did an exhausting exhaustive search for this power i mean he's asking everybody like 30 times and be like do you have it do you know who has it has this person not been acting weird like what's going on here do you think he's actually overplaying or do you think he's trying to be funny i think it's a mix of both okay. i really do i think he's trying to make good tv good tv but also i think he wants to win would you tell him to go home to his dog no i wouldn't <laughs> I would tell him, calm the frig down because you're, pe you're freaking people out. Mm -hmm. He's on a mission of mercy right now. All right, well, Lolo freaks out on Tom. Because um, she can't... Where have we heard that before? Always. <laughs> she can't take this anymore. It's yeah. too much. She yeah. doesn't like it. She doesn't want this alliance to fail. There was a little bit of creative editing here. She really started freaking out when Tom was asking, like, do we have a final four or a final five with Ricky? Like, what is this? Cause it's a five, okay? Ricky's working with us. Don't do this to me like Tamar. I can't, I can't work with another Tamar. Please, I'm an Olympic athlete. She really has a short fuse and oh, she yeah. has no patience. She should not, never have children, but I guess that's not a uh, concern because she's still a virgin. <laughs> and I don't know if anybody's going to want to tap that. Oh my god! Okay, let's, Sorry. let's not. But anyway... She freaks out. She freaks out. 
Did I just say that out loud? Yeah, you did. We've been having a rough week. But anyway, um, Tom is like, guys, I think Ricky has the power. Mm -hmm. And they're just like, mm, Ricky's in our group. I don't see him lying to us. They're very protective of Ricky. And this just makes the guys even more paranoid that the mm -hmm. girls have a deal with Ricky that they don't know about. And they're going to cut them at the final five and go with Ricky. Um, they're not going to wait till the final five. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna do it right now. Yeah. They're gonna go rogue. Well, Lolo tells Ricky about Tom's plan. Lolo and Natalie mm -hmm. tell him, and they've had a very good line of communication with Ricky. We've seen it mm -hmm. all season where they, you know, share a lot of info back and forth. Well, Ricky warned Lolo. Yeah, about Ryan wanting yeah. to put her up. So they are turning the favor. Very quick to share the info. So Ricky's just like, mm, what? <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna put me up. I thought we were in an alliance. What he is this? He has to be suspecting that though. Yeah, but Ricky's not stupid. He had heard that Tom thought maybe he had the power and he was thinking about backdooring him, but I think he really did believe that Tom was gonna stick with the alliance and put mm. up Tamar instead. He thought he was gonna stick to the plan. Yeah, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> so well, lean in. Lolo, Ricky, and Natalie decide if they get to play in this power veto comp, they're gonna try and win it, and then they're gonna leave nominations the same so that there's no chance of Tom backdooring Ricky. Okay. So it's time for the POV comp. Man, they were so uh strapped for time that mm -hmm. they couldn't even show the players the being picked. I don't think they showed it last yeah, I don't think time they did either. either. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, it's a football theme because guess what tomorrow is? <laughs> Super Bowl. The puppy bowl. Yeah. <laughs> and the kitten bowl. Uh, you mean the fun commercials? Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, the players. We've got Tom, Candy, and Joey. Of course. And then three extras. Lolo, Natalie, and Deanna. <laughs> <laughs> what a crew. All right. So, like we said, it's a football theme. It's really the old bowling for uh It's Vito. Bowl Arena. Yeah, Bowl Arena. They but with football that. kicking. They really need to get their money's worth out of those um the turning the hanging things. harness thing. Yeah. yeah. So I mean it's always a fun competition. It's crowd pleaser. I thought this one was funner than the than the bowling one. You think so? I do. Because this one I like the big giant footballs that you kick. Mm-hmm. And I like that the people pop up like on um, uh, BB Canada. Didn't Canada. they have ones where uh, like uh, cutouts popped up? Oh, wait, wasn't that on BB20? Oh, yeah, that one competition. Yeah, they, they had, had all the like, cardboard cutouts. Push them over right. and knock them out. Right. Yeah, so I, I like this. I thought it was fun. This one was tricky in that you pretty much only got one kick. Per, per try turn, yeah yeah so if you blew it you blew it and mm -hmm. then you had to spin 15 more times to release another seven seconds right so i, it's, I mean it's, i thought it was tricky. good yeah and they uh did a random draw to find out the order of uh people challenging people so lola won so she i would have went right for tom but she went for dina i guess she didn't want to make it too, too obvious, obvious right not too <laughs> obvious yeah and also just to mention you had to kick three goals to win whoever kicked three mm -hmm. first wins yeah so dina was kind of ridiculous um dina miss i was a rocket i guess she wasn't uh <laughs> how are you not spotting your turns come on it seemed like after a while she started doing it but like at first she was not it was kind of funny when she wiped out because people falling is funny. It is funny. <laughs> Did you notice that in the beginning they were spinning really quickly and then they definitely slowed down? It was like one of those, if everyone sits down on the toilet, everyone can sit down on the toilet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> exactly. So Lolo uh, shut her out. 3 nothing. Yeah. She, she uh, yeah. She wiped the floor she with her. She shuttered her. <laughs> All right, so uh, then... Next step was Joey. And he picked Tom. He went right for the head of the snake. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> Joey kicked it really far. He probably could have kicked it over those mountains, <laughs> Napoleon Dynamite. We could have won states. But the goal wasn't over the mountains. It was right in front of you. Yeah, he didn't get it. it but I mean, he ended yeah, up... Yeah, a little bit of a learning curve. He but... ended up catching up at one point. It was tied at two, but then Tom ended up winning. Yeah. So that was fun. Mm -hmm. And then uh, K 
Candy said, oh, Tom's tired. I'm going to challenge Tom. Yeah, I mean, why not? She has every every right, every reason to choose him. She's got, like, no chance of winning, but <laughs> not even with tired Tom. Tom beat her, what was it, 3-2? to two? I think it was 3 nothing. Oh, was it 3 nothing? She didn't get one. She didn't watch. And she fell down. She fell down, <laughs> and it looked like she pooped her pants no. in the mud. No! <laughs> That was fun. All right. Well, Natalie right. was up next, mm -hmm. and she could either choose between Tom, who had gone two times in a row, or her friend Lolo, mm -hmm. who was well-rested. She had a few rounds mm -hmm. to rest up. So she picked Tom. Oh, snap. That if was that, a little wake-up call for Tom. If that doesn't tell you your alliance is dead, I don't know what will. Yeah, but... She's in an alliance with Lolo, too. Yeah, but, like, if she wanted to make it even and pick Lolo, you know what I mean? Mm. Well, both of them were going really slow. You know what? <laughs> uh, really slow. Natalie reminded me of? What? Uh, freaking the Terminator guy. <laughs> Not Arnold Schwarzenegger, the cop guy who's the robot in Terminator movies. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Because she was just like... Like that look of determination. Yep. Like she was the ro like a Terminator robot. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like no emotion. Like that just, slow determination. Yeah. It's like in a move, like in a horror movie or whatever, when the person that's being chased is like running. And, and the killer and is just like... falling all over themselves. Yeah, and the killer is just like, like slowly really walking. Going slow. That's oh, exactly what it felt like. That's so creepy. Yeah. So, um, it was really close. It was. It almost looked like Tom was going to win. But he missed that last He missed kick. the kick. And Natalie did not because she played soccer in college. And she didn't forget him. <laughs> yeah, she didn't forget him. <laughs> Your kicks are junk. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yep, so it came down to Natalie versus Lolo. Mm -hmm. And who they, cares who won? Natalie won. Yeah, I mean, they're both going to do the same thing because they're like... I wrote, Natati wins. <laughs> Natati. <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, so Natalie won the veto, and then they're like, Ricky, Ricky, because he's a football player. But doesn't know, doesn't mean he knows how to kick. He wasn't a kicker. He missed the kick. Yeah, and he wasn't even dizzy. <laughs> okay. So then. Let's gloss over everything and go oh, right to the veto ceremony. My God, guys. There was some crazy stuff happening before this veto ceremony, mm -hmm. but let's just talk about the veto. If you want to see everything, make sure you're watching those spoilers because yeah. you're going to get the full picture there. Yeah. I mean, if you don't have the feeds, you got to at least watch the spoilers. Yeah. So Natalie doesn't use the veto. Mm-hmm. And, and Tom and Kate are like, what the F? I thought we were going to stick to the plan. Yeah. But no. Uh, they go up to the HOH room. Mm-hmm. And Lolo and Natalie go up there and they go in hot. They're like... Hey, how come you didn't find us and tell us what to do? Now, here's the thing. Natalie and Lolo were saying, we're going to avoid the guys because mm -hmm. we don't want to use this veto and we don't want to have to talk about it. Right. And Tom was like, I'm going to let the girls come to me mm -hmm. because I'm going to be like that. <laughs> I'm going to see if they actually believe in this alliance and want to come and talk to me mm -hmm. or if it's over. Right. So now they're having this meeting up in the HOH room, and the girls and Ricky are trying to act for those awards. It's mm -hmm. not going well. They're not great actresses. Tom and Kato are definitely seeing through this. Why are you always <laughs> lying? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. Stop effing lying. So it was yep. bad. So the meeting was over, and Tom and Kato were just like, no. Like, that was bull. No. All right, so Joey has a meeting of his own. He's like, hey, Tom and Kato are up uh, barricaded in the HOH room, and everybody else is hanging down here in this Let's bedroom. get rid of them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's get F rid of Tom them. and Kato. No, I mean, okay, so this speech actually happened before the Power Veto competition, even. Mm -hmm. And at that point, Joey had gotten Lolo, Natalie, and Tamar all to agree, even Ricky, too, in a, in mm -hmm. a different meeting. Yeah. They all agreed to keep him this week. Right. And Joey promised if he won the veto, he would not use it, and he would stay up on the block so that Tom couldn't backdoor anybody. Right. So everybody was Team Joey at that point, and they were all excited about going after Tom and Kato. Okay. So, <laughs> Kato starts trolling Natalie hard. He's pissed. So, this is the morning after 
the ceremony. Did you go to acting academy? <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'm going to win the HOH and you're going to be safe and blah, blah, blah. And now he's just like, why are you acting so weird, bruh? And he's like, did you go to the acting academy? <laughs> yeah, but didn't he ask Lolo too? And she's yeah, like, well, that was later. I'm not an actress. I am an athlete. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an effing athlete, mother effer. So it got really nasty. Natalie was kind of like holding it together before, but then Lolo, mm -hmm. you know, she, she can't is hold like it together. Bleh, out of yeah. nowhere, like she was She's ready to yell. Real Voldemort. <laughs> She's like when Bilbo is making that last attempt yeah. to get the ring, and he's all like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, that's exactly. Lolo. <laughs> so Lolo goes off on Tom and Cato, and they do not come out of the HOH room until the uh, actual final vote. I mean, guys. <laughs> Would you? This got really nasty. Like, they yeah. could not show all of it. Again, watch the spoilers, because I tried to give as many details as I could. Mm -hmm. It was a lot. All right, it's time for the vote. Let's gloss over everything. Okay. <laughs> uh, mm, lip gloss. Yeah. So, Candy says, I want to play, even though I'm not. <laughs> a lot of people have been saying like, mm, do you want to be here? Like, you're not playing yet. I mean, Ricky has been saying that to her and she's like kind of offended by it. Um, so she's saying, I would love to stay here. Please keep me. Okay. And she wants to play. Yes. Uh, and Joey said, hey, uh, I got all girls. Did you happen to know I, I, I got, got all girls in my house? I've been blessed with all girls. <laughs> yeah, uh, keep me or like don't keep me or whatever. Uh... Hey, uh, if you don't keep me, I'll take it as a compliment because the best players get voted off. <laughs> okay. So anyway. <laughs> okay. By a vote, which many uh, people watching were surprised by, of six to nothing, mm -hmm. Joey was evicted. Yeah, wasn't it supposed to be three to three? Okay, so let me just give you guys a really quick rundown here. So basically, it was looking like Tamar was going to be the deciding vote mm -hmm. because Natalie, Lolo, and Ricky were all going to vote for Kate for Candy to go, and Cato and Dina were both going to vote for Joey to go. And Tamar was caught in between because she right. did promise Joey that she was going to keep him, but at the same time, she had worked so hard on her relationship with Candy, so she didn't want to vote for her to go. So here's what I think happened, because by the time the feeds went down, the last right. time before the live show, it was still kind of up in the air, right? and it looked like it would be a tiebreaker with Tom keeping Candy. Here's mm -hmm. what I'm pretty sure happened. I believe... Tamar told her people, her alliance, like, I am not voting Candy out, so do what you will with that. Mm -hmm. And I think they were probably like, you know what? We should not make this a split vote because if we do, it's just going to give Candy and Tamar fuel to possibly work right. with Tom, Cato, and Dina. So we should just even this out. You know, everybody send Joey out. We'll all mm -hmm. keep Candy so that Sounds she'll dirty. still want to work with us. Right. I think that's what happened there. I think that makes a lot of sense. So Joey was evicted six nothing, mm -hmm. and he, he ran took it really well out to Julie with half of his shirt tucked in in the front. Yeah, because he's so cool. I'm pretty sure he has been ready to leave since before he left home. So, <laughs> hey Julie, whoa, that's my whoa. catchphrase. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> Julie loved that apparently. He, again, reiterated about his two young girls mm -hmm. and how they, um, they are wanted very him demanding. They wanted to be on the show, yeah. <laughs> they're very demanding, but they're worth it. Mm -hmm. They begged me to be on the show. Best part of the interview. As did CBS. Yeah. <laughs> Best part of the interview was when Joey reenacted a typical conversation with Lolo. Yes. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I gotta give him props for that. She's always pretty accurate too. Angry, yeah. yes, and she she'll kill you. Very uh, very what? quick to fly off the handle. Um, he was really being paid to entertain with Julie there. He dominated the conversation. Yeah. He even threw a diss to Cato about Oops, saying how he's got no muscles, so it was he all balanced. Shamed him. Well, I would say he not blobby, that, but muscle tone shamed him. Shamed him. <laughs> Oh, Joey. Yeah. We all can do the small movements. Oh my god, I forgot. The Lolo thing was not, like, the best part. It was tied with him talking about his pre-bed oh night routine. Oh my gosh. What? You didn't have to talk about it. It's okay. <laughs> 45 minutes to get ready. I feel like night. that is an underestimation. He lowballed that. Because I think it's 45 minutes in the shower and extra time 
before and after the so shower. So how long, like, so he's got two young girls, right? So does he help them with their nighttime routines? So like he's got to go through their nighttime routines <laughs> and then his I don't know. as well? I don't know. But I'm glad that he is not feeling ashamed of it or self-conscious about it anymore. That's great. I hope he can get some better glasses. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of those frames on him, but... Or the, or the pink lenses. Yeah. The lenses are what weirds me out. But I'm really glad that um, he went out on a good note. He can watch the Super Bowl now. He was saying he was really excited about that, and he got uh, the teams right that are in it. So well, he's only been in the house. I know, right? They've been in the house for like five minutes. So, <laughs> all right. So Monday, whoa, Joey is an eviction episode. I guess they're gonna play it like a fast forward. I guess I would assume they're probably gonna do HOH and nominations beforehand, and then maybe they'll do like the other one where they do veto <laughs> veto ceremony and eviction live. That's weird. <laughs> Lulu, what are you doing? Uh, okay. <laughs> all right. So, um, they're really going to have a lot to squeeze into that episode. Damn. They're going to be like, get over here, go over there, get over. Yeah. Okay. Goodbye. Thanks so much for watching. Let us know what you thought of all this in the comments. And until next time, much, much love. love.